Welcome back to Mike's Gun World. Okay, today we got a we got a cool one. We're diagnosing a, a gun that has a problem. This is a 1875 Outlaw, uh, single action, uh, 45 long colt. Now this is a reproduction made by Uberti. I don't know, in the 70s or 80s or something like that. But um, the owner is telling me that he's having problems with the cylinder not rotating when you pull the hammer back. So first thing we want to do as always, let's do a safety check. We'll open the loading gate, half cock, so the cylinder turns and we can see there's, there's nothing in there. Um, so push, oops, push the button here and the cylinder rod should slide forward and the cylinder will drop right out. So the first thing to check right here, all the notches on the cylinder, they look good. Um, eh, they got a little wear on them, but like I said, there's two or two or three thousand rounds have been fired through this, so I'm not surprised there. No issues there. Um, let's get a look inside here. Uh, if you pull the hammer back, I can definitely see the paw moving, but it's not coming forward the way it should to turn the cylinder. So I doubt you can see that on camera, but I definitely can see it. If I turn it this way, there is the cylinder, the, the paw right there that turns the cylinder. Uh, it's coming out. So there's no tension right now on that. And that tells me we've got a broken paw spring. So um, let's get this taken apart. We'll get the trigger guard out of here. See if those suspicions are correct. Okay. Handles out, get the mainspring off. <laughs> handle I do have to get my trays out I don't have my metallic trays out I'll do that in a little bit just wanted to oh I could see it already there it is there is the broken spring hanging out the bottom yep as I suspected broken Paul spring so we're gonna have to find a Paul online and uh get this thing fixed and back to operating okay so it turns out that the paul spring actually was not broken it had just come unseated and it was very badly bent um so i spent oh maybe about an hour with the spring itself in the vise tapping it very carefully with a hammer and kind of knocking it back into general shape that it should be in and i was able to reseat it in the paw um it worked i got it back in the gun i have the I, i've got the gun all put back together and that's that spring is working perfect now so um that cylinder is turning properly either way so uh, actually kind of an easy repair i'm going to look for um another paul and in spring and then i will actually replace it because you know this one's a little bit misshapen uh, but it does work the gun will fire no problem so uh um fairly easy diagnosis and turned out to be a fairly easy repair on it uh, even though I don't feel like I'm 100% done until I get the correct part back in there. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Um, if you're having problems with a firearm, leave me a 
leave me a comment or a question on YouTube. Uh, you can hit me up at Mike's Gun World at gmail.com. We have a companion Facebook page, uh, Mike's Gun World. Uh, you can always leave me notes over there. Um, either way, thanks for tuning in.